Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the Red Turtle. So the Red Turtle is the first non-Japanese film by Studio Ghibli, if I am not mistaken. This film is written and directed by a director whose name I'm not going to really say. I'm going to put his name right here on the screen. He was actually the animator for Fantasia 2000. And the Red Turtle tells the story of this man that is stranded on an island and then he meets this Red Turtle and without getting into any more details, this red turtle changes his life. And honestly, that's all I'm going to really say as far as the plot synopsis. So if you're into movies, particularly anime movies that really have no dialogue, then the red turtle I think is a film for you to see already because how this film handles no dialogue I think is very interesting. I do think it was handled very well. When you follow this man that is stranded on this island, there really is no need for dialogue. You could see through his expressions how he's feeling. And honestly, that same thing does go for any other character you might run into in this film. The traditional animation in the Red Turtle is extra ordinary this is spectacular this has some of the best hand-drawn animation i've ever seen it is a masterpiece when it comes to hand-drawn animation it really is just so glorious to look at the color schemes the details just everything how it was presented really was terrific and i just really enjoyed the overall storytelling they managed to make the storytelling just so engaging i am trying to really be careful with this film but once this man meets the red turtle the direction this film takes i'm not gonna lie it's kind of weird you might be scratching your head a few times but i mean that in a great way though because when it does lead to its ending, it actually does make sense for why this film goes in that weird kind of direction. And I really do admire that about The Red Turtle. And I do think that the music in the film is very beautiful. It just flows so nicely with the overall storytelling that's going on the film. Just as a movie, it's very relaxing to watch for the most part. It's a very relaxing movie. And I say for the most part because here and there, there will be an intense moment that does happen. But whenever the film is calm, whenever the film just really lets you look into this traditional animated world, it's so relaxing to watch. It is so breathtaking, honestly. Now, as far as problems do go with the Red Turtle, I will say that the film does have these dream sequences that while I can understand why the film would have these sequences, I found these sequences to honestly be distracting. I didn't really see the point of these dream sequences to really be in the film. It just fell out of place. It would honestly take me out of the film just a little bit. And this film is one hour and 20 minutes. So that's a short running time. But I did feel the film was dragging just a little bit. I would say mainly in the beginning. I feel like the first act is more of where I felt more of the slow pacing. By the time it gets to the second act and third act, I really did not feel the pacing. Overall, The Red Turtle is a visually beautiful film. On an animation level, it is a masterpiece. And it does have you actually think a little bit by the time this film does end. And I thought on Studio Ghibli's part, it was nice for them to do a movie like this. So I'm gonna give The Red Turtle three and a half out of four stars. If you guys love traditional animated movies and you love silent movies, I honestly do recommend The Red Turtle. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Red Turtle. And since this is a Studio Ghibli film, let me know, what's your favorite film from Studio Ghibli? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.